Hello everyone, I'm Riga Rob, and welcome back to my blind playthrough of The Witcher 3. We are doing the Blood and Wine DLC, and we're doing lots of side quests today, because we've still got plenty to do. Uh, and most of the stuff is actually a lower level than where I am at now, so we've got like 37, 36, uh, the Gwent tournament's 38, Mutual Beauclair's Wild Kingdom is the one that's way higher than where I am now. But yeah, we're going to be doing some more side quests, more exploring of the world map. Uh, today's stream might be a bit of a short one because my cats are being an absolute pest. I have no idea what's got them all worked up. Uh, Coda was like meowing at the door and then I had to actually carry him down the stairs like a baby just to take him to his litter tray for him to have a poop. It's like, is that what was bothering you, really? So, yeah. Don't know how long today will be, um, but we'll see. So, first things first, we've got to help out some dudes trapped in a cave, it seems like. Can hear the screams. Hello. What's this about? Monsters. Monsters there in the cave. We managed to flee, but Hugo remains inside. Oh no, not Hugo. Our brother. He's still in there, inside. Now I wonder Help what the monster could be. Him. We'll pay you for your toil. <laughs> Big Harry is here with lots of cats emotes. Kipo, cool cat, and inu your face. Uh, let's see. Uh, are you the ones looking for someone to escort you? You post that notice about an escort? Yes, we did. And not without cause, it seems. We waited some days, yet when none answered, we risked the expedition on a company. Fools we were. We'd have done better to show patience. Wait. Poor Hugo. Left to an unknown fate. Mm-hmm. Not that unknown, though. Uh, so what attacked you exactly? Noticed what attacked you? There was no time. We ran for the exit as soon as we felt the earth quiver. But Hugo, well, he went the other way. So, monsters crawl out of the ground? I... I suppose... In truth, I don't know. We just ran. Did not look back. Alright. Uh, why did you go in here to begin with? Why do you even go in there? We... lost our way. Hmm. Mistake that cave for the high road. By the hair on my chinny chin chin, what difference does it make whether we went in for a stroll or to gather students? Hugo remains inside, in grave danger. That's what matters. Will you go in now, with him or not? Every second could be vital. Now, I was going to say for this, uh, let's talk about my fee might be taken poorly. But let's talk about my fee. I could look into it, but it'll cost you. How much would you take? Uh, I'll take 440. Why not? Let's try 410. A reasonable price. Sweet. Awesome. All right, final help. Fine. I'll look for him. You two stay out here. Now, what on earth could this monster be? What happened to the missing brother? I forget what the initial startup for this quest was. I assume it was just from a notice board, but Father Knows Worse is a an interesting title for a for a quest, I guess. So, as uh, I was told uh, on the last stream, there is indeed a potion slash decoction that will protect you against poisons. It's the golden aureole. Um, I probably won't need it. Oh, actually, never mind. Maybe I will need it. Needs to be a lot of them around. 
And there's a big one as well. Okay. Slow down the Kiki more warrior. Ah, he's got armor now, I think. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Come on, bleed to death, bleed to death. So I'm just going to have a quick look to see if there's any actual mutagens around here, because I still need to go and do that. Um, I have not been playing The Witcher 3 in my off time to find all these mutagen stuff, and I really should be. Uh, but I'll try and make an effort to do that before the next stream, I guess. Uh, let's see, Witcher senses. Hugo? Where are you, Hugo? Hmm. Aha! Fresh blood on the blade. Weapon was Hugo's, maybe. Maybe. What is that? Blood? Follow the blood? Blood trail. Could be Hugo's wounded. I think that's very likely. So let's follow the Warm blood down. tracks. Kiki Moors prefer cooler environments. Probably why they keep their distance. Mm-hmm. So we'll ignore the boiling lake. Do -do -do -do. Hugo! How you doing, my friend? You, Hugo. Your brother sent me. Ja! Dizzards! Scoundrels! Tartmongers! They attacked me, but I fended them off. Now, they sent a brigand to finish the job. Ah, what are you talking about? I'm no brigand. Not a brigand. I'm a witcher. And your brother sent me to help you. No, 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 no. I refuse to believe they had a sudden change of heart. They tried to kill me, then sent help. I sense the stench of treachery a mile off. Whoa, slow down. What's this about? Uh, I'm Hugo Monar. My father, Victor Monar, you may have heard of. A cognac distiller he was, famed for it. Before mm -hmm. he passed, my brothers and I would quarrel over who would inherit the family business. So, father decided he would force us to work together. I'm sure that worked out brilliantly. Down into its parts. Three of them he hid, telling each of us the location of one. When my brothers learned my part, the last, was hidden in here, they decided they did not need me anymore. They decided to cut me out of the business. Literally. We argued, fought. The noise must have woken the beasts. My brothers ran for the mouth, while I ran deeper in. Okay. Uh, did you find the missing part? What about the missing part? Find it? No. I know only that it's in this cave, likely at the bottom of a pool. The that boiling lake. Awkward to ask, but as I am wounded, would you be kind and retrieve it? Sure, why not? Yeah, I'll help you. Fine, I can do that. But you must know, I, I cannot pay you well. Thank That's so fine. Start producing cognac. I'll come by for a discount. That I promise you. Wait here. All right. So retrieve the missing part from the lake. Let's go diving. So by the way, I should mention Happy Palindrome Day. Today is the second of February, twenty twenty one. A twenty twenty. Sorry. Um, and it's the. I don't know if it's the only palindrome day of this uh, year, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Um, actually, maybe it is. Yeah, it must be, actually. Never mind. Fucking nonsense. Uh, hmm. How do I find this missing part without getting burned? That's a good puzzle. Got some ore here. Do I need this ore? Yeah, sure. I'll take gold nuggets. Hmm. Hmm? So am I just going to burn anyway? Is that right? Yep, I'm just going to burn anyway. Cool. Alright, well. Ooh, there's lots of treasure down here. Well, I'll take that. Uh, let's loot all this stuff while I can. I uh, wonder, how quickly does Swallow interact with that? Not very quickly, does it? Oh no, it's, oh, it's outpacing it. Just... Come on. Getting greedy, getting greedy. Any more, any more? Just blood moss? Okay, let's get out. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Mm 
<laughs> Found it, Hugo. Found the missing part. Really hit that well, your father. Oh, that's fantastic. Your pay. It is not much, I know. But I promise you good prices. The best once the tavern is open again. Hold you to that. Now let's go. Brothers are probably getting antsy. Now how are we going to deal with the brother out fallout? Wait, see there. My brothers. They've rounded up some thugs. They mean to attack me. We don't know hmm. that. Would you try to tell me it's a coincidence that they return with an armed band? They've come for the last part of the still. They won't kill me for it. Please. You may only hope. Kill them. Elsewise, they'll kill me. Kill your brothers? You want that? Well, perhaps not them, but the other roughs, for certain. As to my brothers, I don't know. You couldn't perhaps render them harmless? Ah, will you defend me? Uh, I'll make sure that you're not hurt or no one dies, not today. Ooh, I didn't think there'd be an option to be able to say, no, nobody's going to die. Okay, let's weigh up the options here. So, he is completely correct. Why would there be a band of armed people around this cave, which is fairly out of the way, I should point out. Uh, it's not anywhere near a local, you know, tavern or village or whatever else. So, the fact that there are like multiple guys here with armor and weapons is very suspicious um but on the other side making sure that no one dies uh, i don't know uh make sure you're not hurt no one dies not today i mean this is still defending him technically yeah let's go for this not about to start cutting folk down because of a family squabble about some spare bit of machinery we're going over there and you're gonna settle this Talk it out. Yeah. Should they attack, you will protect me, will you not? If yes, we'll do attack, that. Unprovoked. Let's go. That's the outcome I wanted. Cool. Always try and settle things without resorting to violence if you can. Are you well? We were worried. Why do I doubt this? Hmm. Listen, while you were in there, we realized this tiff is senseless idiotic you might have been harmed gravely and that's something we could never live down Lucian is right we must bury this hatchet work together as father wished it why did you bring muscle hmm. claim to come in peace but then who are these men hunters who had made camp nearby they spotted us and asked if we had no need for their aid hmm you and okay we were gone a long time with these men to help, we thought we might come to your rescue. All right, what about my pay? All right, glad to see you've made up. Now I really need to get back to my own affairs. Naturally. Uh, your payment. We thank you for your help. Should you ever find yourself near the clever clogs, you must stop in. Superb, Cognac. Some of the best. Will do. So long. Hang on, do I leave these guys be, or...? Huh? Oh, you possess the virtue of wisdom. Yes. Woo. Okay, so we got one of the virtues. Nice. I'm so glad I did that uh, thing for it then. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, so let's have a look. See, I suppose it's about time we went to Corvo Bianco, which is our home distillery. Um, it's going to take us a while to get there, I would imagine. Let's have a look at the world map. I am very pleased I managed to get that uh, virtue. Oh, it's just... Yeah, quickest way is just to go cross-country, I guess. That's fine. So apparently that was one of multiple opportunities to get uh, a virtue. Uh, I'm hoping that is true, because otherwise I will be very annoyed that I've missed out on some chances to get the other virtues already. But yeah. You see, the thing is... in any game with any choices whatsoever, right? Is that 
trying to solve a problem through violence is never as satisfying as doing it through like talking or through other actions that don't require violence because you know it's always the male power fantasy well i guess it's not just the male power fantasy but it's a power fantasy to be able to be like yes i'm controlling a strong person who can wield swords or guns and just shoot or cut anyone down that gets in the way but i don't really want that you know like i'm certainly not that type of person to do that so i would always be trying to find a different way to solve problems because i would think that's what i'm better at personally and yeah all right sometimes you get forced into situations where you do have to do that kind of thing and it, that you know it makes sense because you are playing that's a video game coach. like some people would get extremely bored if the only thing you did with every single you know, quest was to talk about it and find the answers uh, that way. But, you know, I'm glad that in this game in particular, they do give you that freedom. And you get rewarded for it as well. Alright, Corvo Bianco. There's no place Let like home. Answer. I am Barnabas Basil Fauti. By order of the Duchess, I shall serve you as Major Domo of Corvo Bianco. Your Basil Faulty from Faulty Towers. With distinction at the Nibli family manor and in Nazaire with Admiral Rompali, who, as you are certain to know, is an extraordinary demanding gentleman. Whoa, Barnabas Basil. One thing you ought to know, I'm not your typical landed gentleman. Truth be told, this is the first real property I've ever owned. Oh, in that case, you must leave it all to me. I shall organize, see to everything, and whip the house into order. I dare say this place will soon be the most prosperous vineyard around. Great. We're going to go to Stardew Good Valley here? Good hands. Hmm. This place, tell me more about it. The vineyard comes across as a place with a rich history. Know who owned it before me? Baron Rossell, who went bankrupt, forcing him to sell the estate to the Duchess. The Baron, in turn, had purchased it from Monsieur Bolius of the Headsman. A truly colorful man of Ketweni origin. He was actually a headsman? No, not him, but his great, 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 great grandfather. Indeed. Apparently, he was a common cut purse who somehow secured for himself the post of ducal headsman in Beauclair. Went about his work with an exceptional penchant. They say he chopped off more heads than there are grapevines in the ducal vineyards. He Prolific, then. Not once. Never sliced unevenly, never botched a job. For his exemplary service, the Duke granted him a title and this estate. Monsieur okay. Bolius, on the other hand, was an engineer in his younger years. Once retired, he settled here and took to producing wine. Sadly, misfortune struck and he lost his sense first of smell, then of taste. Additionally, he could not drink alcohol. His medic forbade it. Shame. Forced retirement, no? He gave up making wine? Not at all. He made even more of it. Began throwing wild balls to which he'd invite friends from far and wide in order to treat them to his wine and delight in the fact that at least someone could enjoy it. It's the sort of man he was, Monsieur Bolius. How did he know that it was good, though? All right, show me around the vineyard. Mind giving me a little tour de Corvo Bianco? Not in the least. Follow me, please. I think it would be practical to begin on the hill. All right, let's have a little walk around. Let's see what I've got to work with. Hopefully this gives me like some supplementary Hope, way of getting sir, income. In all its splendor. Yeah, it's not bad. Pretty vast. Indeed. And now, sir, allow me to show you a handful of interesting details. Follow me, please. Been a major domo all your Follow life. your major domo. Yes, I come from a long line of major domos. My father was a major domo, as was my grandfather before him, as was my great aunt. In fact, she was the one to start the tradition. Great aunt? A hard woman. It is said that already as a child, she knew where she was going and went there. When she arrived in Beauclair, she signed on as a chambermaid at one of the vineyards, then slowly worked her way up. Major Domo. She dragged the rest of the family up the same hmm. path. That's pretty cool. Being able to establish your family's legacy just by working through it. I 
occupy the green home? With the Duchess's permission, I have hired a full staff. Their salaries to be paid from the Ducal Treasury. Nice. That's nice. Not the most sightly part of the estate, I admit. But I think it's worthwhile for you as master of the domain to know where the help stays. Okay, fair enough. I get to lord it over these peasants. And I don't have to pay them either, that's great. Baron Rossell ordered the vines in this part of the estate uprooted and olive groves planted in their place. They look beautiful, especially come spring. Don't look at all bad now either. So how far does the vineyard actually stretch? Is it Down just the to the border of this road? Ah, here. One of the world's oldest. Aged in oak barrels. It provides for an exquisite wine with distinct blackberry, wild cherry, plum, and cinnamon notes. Marvelous. I have to try it one of these days. Marvelous. Ooh, feels good to be a snobby, pretentious vineyardonia. Nice well. Picturesque. Yes, though it ran dry long ago. During the raucous feasts Master Bolius held, he would order it filled with wine. There's a tale about a guest attending a Bolius ball for the first time and thus unaware of the custom. He had suffered great heartbreak and had decided to end his life by jumping into the well. The and just got drunk instead. Coming to a close, and the well was nearly empty when the suicidal guest finally jumped. Instead of killing himself, he nearly broke his legs. To numb the pain, he drank the wine. Drank himself to death? N not at all. When found the next day, he had concluded he'd witnessed twin miracles. The water had been changed into wine, and he had survived. He retired to a monastery in the Dragon Mountains and began preaching the wisdoms of Lebioda. Hmm. Okay. Fair enough. So he became speaking the miracle of Lebioda as if it was Jesus. His wife Nina kept a garden here. A supremely lovely place it was. A bit neglected now. I yeah. Agree. Yet nothing stands in the way of restoring it to its former glory and once again planting it with herbs and other vegetation. Okay, so this is where we can plant plants and like root vegetables and stuff. Maybe we can sell them off. Have we got like a crate nearby? Can we can we keep a dog on the farm? Is that is what this is going to turn into? Planted diminutive, delicate flowers and herbs here. One might say their aroma still hangs in the air. You're quite the romantic, Barnabas Basil. <laughs> I'm trying to think what Barnabas is for. Because obviously Basil Faulty is, you know, Faulty Towers. But the Barnabas bit, I'm not quite putting two and two together for that one. <laughs> Lots of animals roaming around. Like, I even saw the untitled goose with its friends. Just chilling like a villain. This served as an additional wine cellar in years of plentiful harvests. Hmm. Bit of work, and it'll make a fine stable for roach. Now, do I actually have to put effort into doing these things, or can I just pay someone else to do it? That's the real question. The cellars, voila. During Monsieur Bolis's time, wine was kept here, but Baron Rossell used it to store olive oil as well. I took the liberty of cleaning up the um, mess, which... Thank you. While fighting the Bruxa. Thanks, Barnabas Basil. Appreciate it. Alright. And then we get to the main estate house. As you can see, the facade is, how to put it, slightly stained. But one cannot deny it a certain subtle southern charm. True, though it could use a bit of subtle paint. Or unsubtle paint. Just slap it on. Hmm. 
Bit dark. It's welcome inside. Not a lot of lights in here. On the left is the master bedroom. On the right, the dining hall and kitchen. Upstairs, you shall find the guest room, currently used for storage. Not a bad idea. At the moment, the house is only minimally furnished. Yet I believe we will together devise some innovative arrangements. A few paintings, for instance, would breathe new life into the abode immediately. With that, sir, you've seen the full lay of the land. Corfo Bianco is a beautiful estate. But one must admit, time has taken its toll. As it if, always does. Forgive me for being forward, but if you were to choose to invest a small sum towards its beautification, consider me at your service on the matter. Think I'll take a house small is small. That. Be sure to come and see you if I decide to do any remodeling. So, think we could do some renovating? Mentioned the place could stand to be spruced up. Almost decidedly, sir. The question is where you would like to begin this rejuvenation. Everywhere. Let's do the grounds first. Got these spacious grounds. Hmm, but maybe it's time to make them more uh, useful. Oh, yes. We certainly should. The way I see things, given your trade, sir, you would be wise to put in a grindstone and an armorous table. A good way to start things off, don't you think? Sure. Can I hire my master blacksmith straight here, or...? Alright, how much is an armor repair table? Work from time to time. You know, oil this, reinforce that. Could use a decent work table where I could do all that. Admiral Rompali once hired a specialist who made the finest armorous tables this side of the Yeruga. I will contact him at once. One thousand. Ooh. Uh, yeah, let's order a table. Good. Order me up a table like that. Immediately, sir. I expect it will take at most one day to arrive. Okay. Will you be so then, anything else, sir? What else do we need? Grindstone. Yeah, let's make a grindstone. My blades get dull pretty quick. Could use a grindstone. Professional grade. Of course. No one would consider that an unnecessary extravagance. I would wager. Another thousand? Yeah, I've got. I got money. For one, please. A high quality stone to be set up in the yard. Of course. I shall send a runner to town at once. I believe you shall be grinding to your heart's content by tomorrow. Okay, so that's that sorted. Anything else, sir? So let's do work some uh, house. Been thinking about the outer walls. Maybe a fresh coat of paint or some patching. If I might dare to make a suggestion, why not start with a general renovation? I once oversaw such work at Admiral Rompelli's summer residence. The effects were simply breathtaking. Not oh. only did the residence positively sparkle afterwards, but we also made room to display the Admiral's armor and weapons, of which he was a passionate collector. Oh, 5,000? I don't have that much. Oh, all right, never mind. Hmm. Need to think it over some. I understand, of course. As the venerable Lady Eve Knibli would so quaintly put it, the rash oft contract rashes. Lady Eve Knibli? Is that supposed to be evil Knievel? Uh, Alright, let's discuss this later. What other you know topic what? do we need to do? I changed my mind. Not in the mood to talk about redecoration today. But I want to ask you something else. I shall be glad to answer your every question, sir. Uh, oh, okay. Fair enough. Alright, uh, so long. I don't have the money to do anything else, so Thanks. yeah. Gotta get back to my business now. See you soon. Okay, so we need to restore Corvo Bianco to its former glory. Well, we'll see about that. So, oh, I do have 5,000. Well, oh, wow. I've got more money than I thought I did. How might I be off, sir? Ooh, play Gwent as well. Yeah, we'll do some Gwent in a bit. Like this play. As you wish, sir. So we're gonna do the house. Been thinking about the. If I might. No. Yeah. It's in your hands then. Make the place shine. I shall get to work immediately. Within a day's passing, I shall have sent for the crew which rebuffed the admiral's residence. They are the finest specialists around. Highly skilled at what they do, it shall not take them too long. I wager. Two days after they begin, your eyes will behold your residence in its refurbished, rejuvenated, beautified state. Okay, cool. Is there now what else what can we do? Anything else you require, sir? Uh, doesn't seem like it. 
starting to get into this whole I agree. Yet I would urge you to hold on ah. to the construction until the ongoing work is done. Juggling can be a challenging art. It's best not to undertake too much at once. Okay, fair enough. Uh, so we just need to wait a while and then we can do more work. Cool. Alright, have you ever played Gwent? Ever play Gwent, BB? Funny you should ask, sir. I was quite adept in my younger years, but that was so long ago. I fear I've limited my interest to collecting now. Managed to assemble quite the set of decks. Huh, sounds interesting. Mind showing me what you got? Not at all, sir, but only in action. A round or two, perhaps? Yeah, let's play. May the best man win. Do you wish to play against any particular faction, sir? Oh! You get to make him choose. All right, uh, just surprise me. Not really. You choose. Hmm. So do you need to be able to win against him like six different times to get all the different cards? Hmm. All right. Uh, let's start the game. I think it should be okay. I will go first. Uh, I've got two scorches. Two. Do, 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 do. It's not a bad, not a bad hand actually. Um, let's get rid of Vesemir, though, and we'll get rid of the trebuchet. Cool. All right. So, first things first. Play the spy cards. Ooh, doubling up on the damage. All right. Play again. Sweet. Looks good, looks good. So then we will start doubling up. Start doubling up. Mm -hmm. Alright, so does this add another 8 or another 16? 12. Okay, fair enough. Opponent's passed. Okay, that's fine. I will pass as well. Cool. Uh, let's go for... Uh, let's just put... Triss down, I guess. Okay, let's do this thing. Yeah, I only use one of these guys, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Doesn't seem like he's got very strong cards, honestly. Yeah, he's he's not doing pretty well, is he? That's fine. All right, so let's do this. Summon in another guy. Double up the damage. Oh no! Like I'm still way stronger than him, though. So I don't think I'm gonna lose. And the torrential rain as well, really. <laughs> Alright, so he was easily beaten. I congratulate you on your victory. Shall we continue playing? Uh maybe later. Maybe I don't know how many different cards I need to get. As you wish, sir. Thanks. Hmm, did I get a card or Oh, I don't think I got a card out of that. Damn it. Hmm. Maybe you only get the cards when you actually bet against someone. Oh well. Alright, well, uh need to go back and do some other stuff. So let's go for this one here. Yeah, 36. And this is going to be not too far away. That's pretty far away. So let's head over to our marker. And then we'll investigate the noises coming from the cemetery. I thought that guy was actually going to be a really good way of collecting all the different Gwent cards you didn't already have because he has all the different decks. But it doesn't seem like that's the case, which is a bit annoying, but oh well. To right. so the Nilfgaardian Embassy. And we will go find the cemetery. Mm-hmm. 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 
I know there's a couple of notice boards still left to find on the eastern side of the map. Ooh, there's a thing here. Jacquette. Hello, Jacquette. My eyes were not deceived. Yet so far south. You, sir, of all folk in all your fame. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Me, south in all my fame. Ah, oh, I've heard so much. Why then, Master Dandelion tarried in Beauclerc, not a day passed without him baying out a ballad in admiration of your deeds. <laughs> yeah, unwelcome little habit of his. But what can I do for you? Ah, you see my betrothed, Francois Le Goff, vowed in my honor to bring me the head of the horrid beast they call Gretore. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Couldn't have gotten you a bouquet, some sweets in a bag. Witcher, sir, you jest. A love most true demands proof through heroic deeds dedicated to the heart's captor. But alas, Francois has been gone a fortnight. Thus, I must plead with you to see what's become of him. Could you? Would you? I can. But this Grattore, do you know anything about it? This Grattore? Know anything else about it, mademoiselle? Judging by the name, guessing it lives in a cave. Yes, from which it prowls when hungry. By night, when all are asleep, it creeps into villages. Then, of a sudden, breaks open shutters, reaches inside and snatches babes from their cradles so quickly they've not the time to yelp. Hmm, nocturnal, prone prehensile arms, intelligent. Francois claimed he would cut the filth down in a snap, but he's been gone so long. Will you help, sir? I cannot sleep. I fear this worrying will be the death of me. Sure, I can help, but let's talk about my reward. Rarely my want to turn down a damsel in distress. Even less so when there's a <clears throat> prize involved. Ah, naturally. Why, you, sir, are no knight errant, but a guildsman, an expert. How much would you need? How much you got? Four hundred? Four hundred sound good? A few crones less, master. A fistful. I beg you, sir. Alright, let's try 380. A few crones <gasps> less, master. That was a fistful. A fistful. I beg you, sir. Alright, let's try 360. Yes. That amount I am prepared to pay. Cool. Alright, fair enough. Sure, I'll look into it. Do my damnedest to get your fiancé back safe and sound. Just, uh... Mind telling me where to look for him? I forget you come from afar and do not know our land. They say Grotore has its lair in the caves at the foot of the Gorgon Hills. That close to the city? Telling me no bold souls have ventured out to defeat the beast? Quite the contrary. Plenty have, but none's returned. My concern is well founded. Deadly beast then. All right. High time I set off. I guess so. Grotore. Well, let's not get too distracted just yet. Still want to go to that cemetery, which seems to be this way. But yeah, having another beast to hunt down seems like a good idea. More money for Corvo Bianco's renovation, it seems like. Do I need to go? Yeah, I guess I will need to follow the, the markers. Because this city I haven't really explored too much of yet. And I can imagine it gets fairly confusing if you don't know where you're going. <laughs> Should we getting close to the cemetery? Hang on, no, I'm finding Francois, that's different. Damn it. Yeah, I don't need to do that. I want to do this one. Where's that? Oh, you... Ah, okay. Didn't realize I had automatically switched over to doing Fetus Cold as Ice as a quest. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, I was wondering why the cemetery is so close to the main building of Beauclair Palace. Whoa, hello. Painter? 
Just this hooded woman? Are you Brooke, sir? Hmm. Hello, painter. How are you? Snow White. Name's Geralt. What can I do for you? That hair, the scar, ah, the frown. It's all perfect. Something you actually want from me? Or are you just going to go on gushing about my attributes? I admire, good sir. Admire and desire. Such a threat in the eyes. Oh, so manly. If you're trying to get me to meet with you some evening, I'm afraid you're just wasting your time. An evening? Impossible. I shall require the soft light of mid-afternoon for this portrait. Portrait? Indeed. Yours. En face. Actual size. With the finest Mr. Toussaint Fords behind you. Yeah, get my portrait Pose done. For me. You must. Naturally, I shall pay the compensation due to you for your modeling services. Easy money. Fine, have it your way. Don't see why not, as long as it doesn't take long. It shan't, never worry. With but a short distance to journey into the hills outside of town, a perfect landscape perfectly to frame your perfect physiognomy. Let's go then. I need to only fetch my easel and pallets from my studio. We shall meet at noon at the Western Gate, near the palace. From where we'll venture forth together. Okay, fair enough. See you at noon, then. A portrait of the Witcher as an old man? What? Why Why am I being portrayed as an old man? That doesn't seem very, very nice. And I did notice there was another exclamation mark for another quest, but it's on the other side of a building, and I don't know necessarily how to get there, so... I'm going to try going this way. to wake the dead. Temple Cemetery and Beauclair. Can't hear anything now. Search the cemetery. More fighting. Noises coming from the catacombs, it seems. So, noises coming from here. Ooh, there's lots of screaming there. Da, 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 da. Brave robbers! Why am I using Erdin? Oof. Time to get out. Time to get out. Thank you. So Erden does slow down people as well as monsters. That's good to know. Ba -ba -ba. Use you. Oof. Use you and die. Thank you. Hmm. I'll need to dump some of this loot that I'm picking up from these guys because I'm pretty close to my weight limit, I think. Especially when I'm getting good loot from in here. Orders from Robin? That foolish flatulence fluffer Bruce has tried to cheat us again, but he won't get away with it this time. Take a pickaxe and a shovel and pay our dearly departed boss a visit. Her kitty face was hideous to look at even when she was alive, so the very thought of looking at it now she's dead gives me the bloody runs. Take the jewels, pearls, and other valuables, bum nibbling, bum nibbling Bruce. Ooh. Tossed into a grave, and so if you see the milk sop hanging around the cemetery, break his neck. Robin. P.S. Apparently, ever since Selena's death, that kid's been moping near Olimer's cemetery, howling at the moon. If I know life, and I do, he's got with him the key to the chest we buried with that bitch. Perhaps we could end his suffering by ending his miserable life in the lake. If he hasn't drowned himself already, this is. Ooh. The last exploits of Selena's gang. Well, I guess we'll come back. Ooh. Oh, maybe I need to go and do that quest to get this unlocked. I see. Okay, fair enough. Take all the money. Being a grave robber is very lucrative. Very, very lucrative. Ooh, that's definitely a, a monster kind of scream of some sort. Dragon scales? Ooh. 
Oh dear. Alright, so we'll come back for you. Oh, I didn't actually even look in here. There's so much good stuff in here. No wonder they were, like, trying to rob this grave. Not a soul. Strange. Doesn't look in the grave hag's lair either. Hmm. What's this? Inscription? There lies Margot de Quarantan. Margot de Quarantan. Smashed as if someone threw it against the wall. Hmm. Okay. Louis de Quarantan. Died on the day of Saint Zoetan's remembrance. Hmm. Noises started right around then. Pretty fresh. Funeral wasn't too long ago. Well, they died pretty recently. Maybe they were not best pleased with how they went. Gold. Can't be grave robbers. None with their salt would have left this. Now a sign of monsters or grave robbers. Bit of a mess, that's all. Maybe this isn't the spot after all. Strange. How can it not be? Hmm. Weird. Alright, well, funny business with ghosts. Carry on then. Noise is clearly coming from that tomb. Impossible. Impossible. So we're just gonna run back and forth, back and forth until we find the people. See how things play out. Ah, uh, that's why we hide behind the statue. Fair enough. Hi, to find out what's making the noise. Let's sit and wait. Um. You draw the lie about all day, flipping those cards like some dwarf. Disgusting. Indeed. Far better to stand at the door of Leviodas Temple, mumbling prayers from dawn till dusk. Ingrid, I prayed for you, that you would cast off the yoke of gambling. Fine job you did of it. Seems the gods had also heard enough of your cackling. And you? Why are you here? This is a private conversation. I'm going to be your therapist. What are you arguing about? What's this argument about, anyway? Sort of. Not your concern. Could help well, you it is, actually. I know not your name, but you must help me. I refuse to spend eternity at the side of this heathen. Remove him from my crypt at once! Slow down. What's the problem? This is my crypt, and this saintly shrew harangues me even in death. An eternity of nagging for misery! I was blind and a fool to marry him. He's a slave to the cards, prepared to wager his own child on a round of Gwent. Oof. Once, damn it, and as a jest. How many times must I explain? And who sank our fortune into some silly statue of Leviodas? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Quietly. Likes to buy stuff. That was my cause. The prophet immortalized would have transformed this land of blasphemy and betting. How was I to know it was all a fraud? By using common because sense. I warned you some five hundred times. Quiet. Shut up, both of you. Uh, whose crypt is this rightfully? Who does the crypt belong to rightfully? Must you ask? It's mine. My family. The Decorantans. Are you illiterate? True. But my dowry served to repurchase it from those you owed. Look, if there's to be peace and quiet here, one of you's gotta go. Need to move one of you out. Yes. Take him. Please. Do so. And I shall... I shall tell you where I hit his lucky Gwent cards. Ooh! Gwent cards? I knew it was you! And now, you would evict me from my crypt. 
then pay for the deed with my cards. I mean, Gwent cards is a pretty sweet reward. Blast it all! Had I those very cards at the tournament in Valhaven, I'd still be alive. It's your fault, you pox incarnate, that they stabbed me to death. They murdered you for your debts. I had nothing to do with it. Yeah, okay then. Come, I heed this good book, thumping wench. Mind, I know well where she hit those cards. I'll tell you myself as soon as you remove them. Hang on. How do you know where she hid the cards if you didn't have them in the tournament? Need to think about it. That makes no sense. Alright, gotta move one of them out. Well, I'm pretty sure that Margot knows where the Gwent cards are and Louis doesn't. So I'm gonna move Louis's thing out. Oh, I should have saved the game actually. Oh well. Can I put it back? I see you fell for that pious tart driven drat. Oh, well, then listen, I request, be a good fellow and set me in the chamber of the Gwent Friendship Society of Beauclair. It's just round the corner. Sure. You a member? That's just it. I was not, but I would have dearly liked to have been, and joining them in death shouldn't bother anyone. Okay, I can't Certainly see any problems with that. Me. I'll do it. Where's this chamber? Once you enter the catacombs, go straight. The chamber will be on your right, near the corridor's mouth, and I thank you. You're welcome. Can I? Oh, hang on. <laughs> oh, one last thing, eh? Okay. Um... Can I go back inside and put it back? No. Alright, well, I guess I am committing to this. Deeper in the catacombs. Right, let's go. Let's go, shall we? I'm sure there'll be some monsters to find. Oh, hello. Aha. Chamber Louis mentioned. Gotta be. Alright. It's him harder. Hello. What are you guys doing here? Hi. You're grave robbers. You gents also looking for that Gwent club? What the poking devils? Who are you? Who sent you? So many questions, so few answers. Blind, with a plumbing philosopher. Get the swarmy cat diddler, lads. <sighs> if I only had a crown for every time a bunch like this. You would be an actual millionaire. So that's one done. That's two done. That's three done. Yeah, just leave some, you know, mangled corpses in a grave. Who cares, right? Just a grave. All right, well, let's put uh, ooh, more loot. Yeah, more loot. All right, let's put him here. An ode to Gwent. Right. High time Marco paid up. Yes, indeed. Okay, so I hope she was not bluffing when she said she knew where the Gwent cards were. I mean, if she's the one that hid them, she should do, right? And the whole point of her saying that as leverage is to be like, yes, I will give you these rare Gwent cards. Hello, Margo. Done. Now, where you got those cards? Leaf the city through the Cooper's Gate, then be a right. Our house is easily recognized. A tree atones the sign above the door. I've buried the chest in the garden beneath the rose bush. 
tree on a sign, Rosebush. Think I got it. Do you want to say anything else, Margot? No? Might I ask what you did with Louis? True, he knew nothing in life but Gwent, but I would still prefer he not spend eternity in a ditch or a privy. We tell her? Don't worry about it. Found him a nice place. Ought to feel right at home. Farewell. Ta da! Alright, search for a house with a tree shaped crest outside the walls of Hodeville. Alright, how far away is that though? Have a look, see. Uh, it's not too far, I guess. We'll just make our way and uh, run there, I guess. So, when it comes to that kind of quest, usually I would have sided with Louis, just because, you know, family legacy, his family owned the, the crypt itself. And all right, so the dowry paid it back, but it's still their family's crypt, right? There's no other quarantines that are going to be buried elsewhere, right? Uh, and usually with that kind of stuff, sometimes you can have the maiden name of the woman buried in the crypt matching their family as well. So whatever her name was before Dera Quarantine, she could be buried in that crypt instead. And I don't think she had any special reason to be buried there instead of uh, instead of Louis. But because this is a video game and I wanted the Gwent cards, uh, I decided to go for the Gwent quest. So, all right. Uh, where is it? Is it this one? Locked. Hmm. Hmm. Also locked. Also locked. Hello. Need to go around. More locked. Okay. Tree on the sign. Aha. Must be the house. Super locked. Okay. Ali Ali Oxen free. I mean, I could just break down the doors with Odd. But medallions humming. Ooh. Something's not quite right. Something's not quite right, you say. So then, if the medallion is humming, does that mean I need to go around or climb around? Aha, here we go. We are entering the secret garden. Hey, look, a chest. Garden key. What? Oh! Well, how about that? Why are there arch spores in the garden, huh? So, Rosebush, Rosebush. I suppose I can't actually enter the house because I don't have a key for the house itself. Here we go. No? Hmm. Mm, not here. Ah. Oh. This one? Come on, Geralt. Maybe someone has already come here to dig them up. Uh, just like she said. Oh, got him. The Gwent cards, as promised. Cool. So that's that bit done. So what Gwent cards did I actually get out of that? It's not going to tell me, is it? Oh, well. Maybe it'll pop up some time later. Who knows? I suppose the real thing is I wanted to know whether those are unique cards that need to be uh, gotten for the Collect Them All Gwent quest. But without seeing them pop up on the screen as like rare cards, I don't know if that's actually the case or not. Oh well. 
Alright, so, uh, where's the reward, by the way? The reward is... Not too far away, but there's also this here. Yeah, let's go, let's go find that. Should be able to make our way, essentially, here, because this is the where we passed the art curator for the amazing testicles. And... I'm sure the exclamation mark is going to be on the other side of this building. Yep, it is. So we go this way and go all the way around. We'll be able to find it. So turn around here. And then we'll find out what this exclamation mark is over there. A vineyard owner. Hello. Master Richard, what luck to happen upon you. Got work for me? New contract? Uh, of the contract in question, you acquitted yourself beautifully years past, on your last sojourn in Beauclair. I was in a bit of a bind at the time, do you remember? Yet I swore a solemn vow to pay you in full one day. I don't remember, but Guess go on. It rings a bell. Sadly, you went on your way before I could settle matters with you. So, I took your coin and placed it in an account for safekeeping. Hmm. What kind of account? A savings account at Chanfanelli Bank. You need but walk in and withdraw. The sum must be rather substantial by now. Ooh. Thanks. Head over there first chance I get. Easy money! Paper chase. Stop by that bank. Yeah, well, we'll see if we can get that bank uh, and go, but I think we want to do the quest where I need to meet the guy at noon first. Let's go ahead and find this thing here. Reward. Reward. Hello, monsieur. Hey there, I'm done. Cemetery ought to be real nice and quiet now. Ah, to sleep in my own bed once more. The clocks has grown intolerably loud. The punters bellow like men possessed. One madman especially, always shouting, ordering, ordering. But tell me, at the cemetery, what was it? Beasts, as you claimed? Not quite. Uh, just a marital spat. Nope, just a marital spat. That's it? They hollered like Stuart pole cats. Mm. Sorry to bother you with such a trifle. Here for your trouble. Thank you. Thanks. Five experience points. 55 crowns. I don't think I actually negotiated a reward with that guy in particular, so... Can't be too accept, uh, upset about 55 crowns. 55 more crowns than I had before. Alright, so we've got Paper Chase. Where's the one with meeting at noon? Here we go. Oh. Yeah, we'll do this anyway. Because it's 6, 6 a.m. now, basically. So if we walk down here, go to where we need to meet the guy, and then just meditate, we should be able to do that pretty okay. And even though it's a level 42 quest, I don't think it'll be about, you know, fighting monsters, at least. So... At least I hope not. That's the other thing about playing a video game, right? It's like, you can have a quest which is about fighting monsters fairly easily. Like, that's a pretty standard thing to make in a game. But to have a quest where you don't fight anything and still make it interesting is a lot harder to do. And obviously, CD Projekt Red did a good job with this by making all of the side quests voice acted and they have you know, cutscenes and so on. Um, but yeah, it, it's one of those things where if you didn't put the effort into it, having a, a quest about getting your portrait done could be really boring. But I think this is going to be quite good. Like, we might even be able to take a picture of the portrait itself and just have it as, like, I don't know, something we can hang up in our wall in Corvo Bianco. This is further away than I thought it was, though. The western gate of the palace. I guess this is in the right right place. 
And then we shall just meditate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Doo -doo, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I should have just fast traveled, but oh well. Hello, Monsieur Painter. Let us return at noon. Could you? Hello, Monsieur Painter. I'm here. Let us go. We should arrive in time to have the best light of the day. The chiaroscuro we shall capture. Just glorious. No time to waste. Let's go. The things I do for art. We had best ride there. But we'll arrive faster and less fatigue. Sure, makes sense. Roach. A work of mine. Turtle dove or the heat. Hanks in the ducal palace. So does a cockatrice I cut down once. It's stuffed. Yes. Maybe even with heather. I once had a cockatrice feather brush. Best thing for laying down tempera. Yeah, I no longer have it, sadly. My blasted cat swiped it. Why would a cat want a brush? To paint with, of course. And it was no common brush. Fantastic, as I said. And fantastically expensive. Hang on. Got a cat that paints? Yeah. If you care to call it that. <laughs> he merely copies the works of his betters. And poorly at that. A cat that can paint and that copies other painters. Pierre Auguste Moustachoir. It's no surprise you've not heard of him. He's a second rate hack and a thief. We'll continue on foot. Pierre Auguste Francois. Well, come on, then, painter. We're not got all day. You're the one saying that we need to get the right light. Hello. Ladies, gentlemen, my lieges, uh, forgive me for being forward, but have you perchance seen a set of paints and brushes nearby? Eugenie, I believe this peasant wants something from us. My paints, my brushes, I, I, I had prepared them. They, they were here. We've not seen any journeyman's tools, my good man. Of that I assure you. There a problem? Yes, an immense one. I cannot possibly paint without my paints. I'm done for. Unless you would be kind enough to locate them. Sure. Uh, can you not use different ones, though? Wouldn't happen to have another set with you? And uh, nothing you could use instead? My word. Would you really have me scrawl with charcoal like an animal? I guess not. Fine, I'll look around. <sighs> Damn it. Sure you left them here? Yes, right there. I'd prepared everything. Set it out. Ordered and organized. Mm. Might have toppled downhill or something. Fine, I'll take a look around. Find the painter's paints. I think it is life that imitates art. And so, um... If we are to find the painter's paints, we're going to have to make sure that it's not too far away, because otherwise, why would they put the the location circle this wide? Aha! What is this? Spilled paint. Reeks to high heavens of turpentine. This way? Aha! Mm, let's examine this bit. Clear, but curiously small. A child, perhaps. Or maybe a foglet. Basically, any small creature that would be interested in, in painting themselves. So they have to have a certain level of intelligence. <laughs> yep, monster cave. Uh, I should probably look at this on the floor. What's this? Another stain. Could very well be a lead. Okay. Follow the scent of turpentine. Neckers. Like they made what? 
Why do Neckers want paint? Whoa! Okay, maybe this was level 42 for a reason. Woo! Woo! They're quick. Like, I'm trying to last long enough for my stamina to come back to be able to use a sign, but this is... Woo! Alright, let's have Quen on, shall we? No, Quen, thank you. Alright, Quen, and then go Odd again. Woo! Alright, so that's slow down. You're bleeding, you're gonna die, you're dead. You're dead. Oh! All done? All done. Get all the mutagens. All the mutagens. Why do Neckers want paints? Paints. Don't look ruined. Painters should still be able to use them. Unless those snobby rich people stole the paints to put into the mar into the cave. That might be it. Hello, sir. I found your paints. Found your things. Splendid. Where were they? And hmm, is this all you found? I left so much more. Should have kept it all with you, not left it lying around. Followed some paint tracks to a necker lair. Seems the beasts made off with your supplies. Used it to paint a fresco on one of the cave walls. Looked something like a battle scene to me. Hmm. Ah, impossible. They splashed paint on the wall in a rage. Unimportant. In any case, it's a good thing you found the basic colors. Shall we? While waiting, I spied a superior spot. Okay. So is there an option to actually find more paints? I suppose I didn't actually look on the cave wall to see what the neck is painted. You on your horse? Yeah. We have had fantastic luck with the weather. The light is perfect, absolutely perfect. Painting this masterpiece gonna take long? A mere six hours. The six hours? Hours to work any longer than that. Oh, but the time will fly by. We'll chat, swap tales. Mm. Better yet, let me down a potion. Time will definitely fly by in a state of lethargy. No need to swap tales. No, no, no. Your expression, your posture, they must be just so. You must look alive with fire in your gaze. Lethargy is out of the question. <laughs> Come on, give it some thought. You could title the painting, A Witcher Lying Senselessly on the Heath. You jest. <laughs> A jesting witcher. How unique of me. So why are we going to a different place? How did, you, how did you find a superior painting spot? I thought the whole point was that you already knew where best spot was. Oh, well. Right. Tell you what, that's not a bad view. That is actually a better view than the first one. Why did you choose the first one? Yes. Just look at the view. Breathtaking. The perfect background for our masterpiece. Pretty, I guess. Now, you must carefully consider in what pose you wish to be immortalized. Ooh. All right. Praise the sun! Oh, I thought I would get to choose. Oh, well. All is ready. We may begin. Have you decided on the pose you'd like to adopt? Yeah, there we go. Uh, reclining on horseback, heroic. Uh, hmm. I think on horseback is pretty cool. Let's go on horseback. How about I be on horseback? I mean, Roach kind of deserves to be immortalized too. Oh, yes. A horse. Exceptional idea. 
But I would rather you perch atop Alexander, my mount. I've trained him to pose. But, but that's not Roach. I shall paint in the carcass of a slain griffin later. Now, raise your head to exude pride. Thrust your breast forward. Go on, breast forward. I want to see those hocks extended. Ahem. Is the horse paying attention? It's your horse. May I begin? Or would you rather try a different pose? Uh, let's try maybe something different. I want to see what the heroic thing looks like. So, heroic. Maybe I could just stand, sword in hand. Ah, splendid! A heroic pose, of course! The bold warrior, his sword held aloft, ready to run at the... Well, that willow over there. I will paint in a griffin later. Shall I begin? Or would you prefer to adopt another pose? Hmm... See, I like the idea of being on horseback for the painting, but if it's not going to be Roach, then I don't think so. So, yeah, let's go for it. Go ahead. Now, be so kind as to adopt that look you gave me when I first asked you to work with me. That what, annoyance? That intense scowl of an angry wild ram about to butt heads. Sure. Yes, excellent. Now, hold that. Do not budge. All right, show us your masterpiece. Uh, this gonna take much longer. Not much, not much at all. We'll run out of daylight soon. Please keep your head still in the same position. Fine, I'll try. I'll also try to remember to never trust a painter again. <laughs> griffin! Yeah, I know. You'll paint one in. No, an actual griffin. What? A griffin! Hello. Run and hide. Here is mommy. Yeah. Crossbow time. Crossbow time. Hello. Whack his head. Whack his head. Make him dead. Make him dead. Woo. If I'm not mistaken. This image of Geralt fighting the griffin on a hillside that is very green is actually, like, one of the promo art things. Or, like, a key art. Oh, wow. Whew. For, um, the game itself. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. Yeah. Okay. Just recover some of my uh my health. That'd be handy. Shoot it down, shoot it down. Where are you going, Griffin? There you are. Where are you going? Oh, you're attacking the horses. Like I'm not. Why did I put my. Why did I put my sword away? He's ridiculous. Oop. Oop. Let it bleed out. Let it bleed out. Dodge away. Dodge away. Ooh. Oh boy. Oh, it's the scream that's causing damage. I see. Is it causing damage or is it just like stunning me? I think it's just stunning me actually. Griffin! Shoot it down! There we go. Few more hits, few more hits. Dead. Sweet. 
Thank you. Woo. Hey, look, you can redo your painting now. Is it safe? Yeah, come on out. And no wonder no one ever came here. It was a griffin's hunting ground. Oh, that thing scared me to death. Not quite to death. You are alive. Not least because you chose a witcher to sit for you. How's the painting? It survived too? Uh, it did. But I cannot show it to you now. I never display unfinished work. You can see it tomorrow, after midday, where we met. I shall display it in the market square. Oof. Cool. Monstrous beast. Shall we immortalize it in the painting? Uh, yeah. Paint it in. Why would you not? Yeah, let's add it. Carcass can serve as your prop. Splendid. Hmm. Interesting color palette. And the textures and the proportions. It will do. Yes, it will do. But I shall paint it in later in my atelier. There's an excellent illustration in the Encyclopedia Maxima Mundi. I fear this specimen is, well, too far cut and chopped. <sighs> All right. Very well. That will do for now. I shall polish the details later. No point struggling on in this fading light. Ah, I almost forgot. Payment for your troubles. And I thank you for saving my life. Though, in doing so, you did also save your likeness. Uh, for posterity. Mm-hmm. Indeed. I don't get what the point of having Geralt be in the picture with a griffin and yet the griffin is not the actual griffin I slayed. Same thing with the horse. It's like, if I'm going to be on horseback, I want to be on roach. I don't want to be on his horse, because what's the point? Alright, uh, where is the nearest fast travel marker? I have a feeling it's going to be pretty far away. Yeah, Beauclair Palace seems to be the closest. So, let's go to these undiscovered locations, and then I might be able to find something. Uh, no, I want to do one hour. There we go. Much better. Basically, I'm going to find these undiscovered locations that are just around where I am, and there might be a fast travel market in the town-related one, perhaps? We'll see. Uh huh. I see. So, this undiscovered location is actually under the ground. Well, alright then. There is a... There is a marker for a cave somewhere if it's not there um... hmm all right well if it's going to take me a while to actually find it let's go to this one then Doo -doo. Don't die, Geralt. Thank you. There we go. The real can outpost. Oh, there's harpies. I see. And it's a monster nest. Of course, of course. One harpy down. Another harpy down. Oi. I kill you. Thank you. Need to go and find that monster nest now. On top of the building? Yeah. Yeah, look at all that harpy shit. Harpies got their nest here. Destroy! Time to go. All right. Uh, what was that? Samuel Ide's notes. 
Father's hounding me to do some chores again. With all this nagging, I shall never finish my ingenious mechanism. At least Mumsy supports me and lent me her mirror. Along with the two others I bought with my savings, I'll be able to test whether the device I've invented will indeed work. But first I shall sum up the beginning of my tale for the benefit of any who happen upon it only at this moment. My dearest love, Elig Elise, dwells with her family at an estate snuggled in a valley so deep that, between September and March, the sun is continually hidden between the abutting slopes. All the residents of the settlement must live in constant twilight and darkness for these long months. Yet soon this perennial torture will be but a dark memory. My invention is brilliant in its simplicity. Atop one of the nearby mountains I shall install a system of mirrors to reflect the rays of the sun towards her manor. That's it! Haha! -ha. It was worth it. All those long nights spent at the Imperial Academy Library during my studies, perfecting my skills in arithmetic and alchemy. I would like to test my discovery today, but Father keeps shouting that my contraption will only attract a few feeble-minded magpies to doo-doo all over our abode, or even worse, fling in a flock of harpies. But he's always got a problem with everything. I'll wait until he leaves for town, then set up my mirrors in a flash. Oh, poor Samuel. Poor Samuel. He had a nice idea, but his dad was completely correct. Like, is there even anything else to do in the manor here? No, right? Especially since I don't have any keys. I feel like I'm going to get encumbered very soon. But not just yet. Uh, is there anyone in here? No? Yeah. They put lots of debris in front of the doors to make so make certain that you know, hey, you can't go in here, so don't don't try. Alright, well, in that case, let us go to the fast travel marker. And we'll go and finish off our quest with a painter. And that will be the grand place, or North Guardian Embassy might be quicker to get to. Slightly. Seeing as we don't have to walk all the way around a house. <laughs> See, I'm wondering whether the painting having the griffin in or not is going to make a difference to how people perceive Geralt at all. Like, that would be a cool thing for the reputation of Geralt in... Hello? Oh, you're a drunk. Ha. That would be a cool thing for it to change the reputation of Geralt in Toussaint, specifically. It's like, oh, you killed a griffin? How amazing! Or, you killed a griffin? How terrible! And so on and so forth. Uh, can I sneak through here? Aha! I can! Sweet. Midday! Wait one day to see my painting. Okay, let's wait another day. Aha! You enjoying my likeness? Hang on. What? I wasn't wearing that. Wow. Greetings. Took some artistic Geralt. liberties. Yes. So, our painting. Are you pleased? Is it to your liking? Do tell. Uh, not quite what I expected. I don't know much about art. It's good. I mean, in terms of the composition, the, the pose, the portrait, yeah, it's good. It's nice. Shows a lot of uh, imagination. Don't recall undressing before posing, though. Some of the other details are a bit off, too. Well, the imagination is an artist's chief tool. Heard the same from a certain poet. Mm. He embellishes and invents chiefly. Well. Perhaps you'd care to buy the painting. Given our rapport, I shall take a loss. For you, I'll part with it, I will, at a special price. What's the special price? Uh, don't have enough coin. Do I not have enough coin? Huh. As special as it is, 
That's still quite a price. Afraid I don't have that much coin. Not a problem. Come back when you do. Oh, okay. I cannot guarantee someone won't have beaten me to it. Okay. How much do I have? Oh, I do have a thousand. But I do have enough. Or unless I got more money out of him for doing the quest, I don't know. Yeah, sure, I'll take it. Witcher, greeting. Why not? It'll make an interesting memento. Though I'd hardly call the price a bargain. It's not. Indeed, few have the sophistication to appreciate my technique. I'll sometimes go hungry as a consequence. Mm-hmm. This way, I'll be able to control who sees it. Thanks. Portrait of Geralt received. But yeah, maybe we can put that in Corvo Bianco. Now, uh, seeing as we only have 69 gold, nice. Uh, maybe we should go ahead and find that uh, Chian Finelli Bank. So, Chian Finelli Bank is. How far away is it? Pretty far? Oh, no, not too far. Okay. So we just follow the marker around and we'll get... Ooh, excuse me. We'll get there eventually. Probably will meditate to get there in the daytime, though. Ata! Chian Fanelli Bank. I'd like to have my account, please. Welcome to Chanfinelli Bank, where we look after your coin as if it were our own, and the customer's always right. How might I be of service? Uh, I need to change some coin. I'd yeah, let's like do that first. Some coin. By all means. Okay, so I've got 4,000 crowns just for that. All right, let's re-withdraw some coin. Got an account here. I'd like to make a withdrawal. Naturally. Your name? Geralt of Rivia. Wait a moment, please, while I find the relevant record. <laughs> so depending on how much gold I get out of this, I could probably make lots of renovations to Corvo Bianco. What's, what's with the cat? Are you a cat burglar? Lots of emphasis on the cat. Help you. Extraordinary circumstances, you see. There's a note in the records. The account holder is dead. What? That's inaccurate, as you can see. It's some kind of mistake. The note is clearly an error. To reactivate the account, you'll need permit 838. For more okay. information, please go to window number one. All right. Bureaucracy time. Right. And that's, of course, why the quest is called Paper Chase. Hello. I need a permit. Welcome to Champanelli Bank, where we look after your coin as if it were our own, etc., etc. How can I help you, sir? I need a copy of permit th thirty-eight. I'd like to reactivate my account, so I need a copy of permit A thirty-eight. Wrong window, I fear. Uh, can you tell me where I can do it then? Happen to know where I can do it then? Hmm. Let me think. Perhaps upstairs in records. Or downstairs in the archive. You must ask them, sir. Do just that. So why did she say window one? I guess people in a bank don't necessarily know all the right places to go to uh to find the right records. So upstairs or downstairs? Let's go upstairs first. Sorry, gotta get through. Hello, Please bank clerk. Back off the queue, sir. Excuse me. Welcome to Chanfinelli Bank, where we look after your coin as if it were our own. And the customer is always right. How might I help you? I need a document, permit A38. This where I get permit A38? Naturally. Just hand me your form 202, please. <laughs> uh, which form? Form 202. All right. Where do I get that document? Allow me to explain. 
Permit A38 can only be issued upon presentation of Form 202, as stated specifically in Ordinance N60. Please, go to window number one. Right. I just came from there. Never mind. Be back shortly with Form 202. So that's why she said go to window one. Because you do need to have window one to get Form 202 to get A38. You cut in front of me, sir. Uh huh. Yes. Uh, what are you gonna do about it? Well, couldn't really give a crap. You boar, you churl! I will not stand for this. Just you wait. I'll teach you some manners. Go will on, you? Hit me. <laughs> oh, gentlemen, if you wish to raise a ruckus, do it outside. Yeah, outside? let's not get thrown out. No. Wait, really? Well, uh, I want to do my forms. Uh, the type of person to be like, you need, I'm going to inflict physical violence on you is like, it's not worth it. But whatever. I mean, clearly he doesn't know who he's messing with. Bum, bum, bum. 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 Bum. Yeah, you're messing with someone who is the champion of the fist tournament in Novigrad, Skellige, and Velen. Mm-hmm. Sure, sure. All right. So, hello, I need a 202. Come on. She's gone. Where the hell she go? Where? Mm. Air bomb made. Need to follow the scent. Could be the lead I need. Fine. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. I mean, if the door's locked, how am I supposed to be able to get in? Catch-22? Uh -huh. So you see, she claims puffed sleeves will be in fashion next season. Excuse me. Got something I gotta take care of at window one. cannot be serious. Getting ignored. Oh, this is great. Excuse me. Can you not see what it says there? Yes, I know it's not window one. break. Celine, darling, sign this for me, will you? Oh, there you are. Listen, there's something I... break. Ah, oh, try man. to be polite, it just never gets through. All right. Do we wait like five minutes? Uh, no choice, I guess. Yes. Need to wait till they're done with their break. All right, we will sit and wait What's until their break ends. How long's their break? Bum, ba, bum, bum, bum. You must hmm. wait. They have the break now. Yes, thank you. I know. So, what do you hope to get here, my friend? Money. Permit A38. Though, guess I need Form 202 as well now. Form 202? Easy peasy. A certificate P. Now, that is a challenge. But, as we are both forced to wait, fancy a round of wind. Sure. Why not? Yeah, that's why fine. Let's lay him. Now, that I understand. I'll start arranging my deck. Hmm. All right. So, I think we're fine for stuff again. So. Ooh, Scoyatel. Uh, let's swap out you and let's swap out you
Ooh, Scorch. Nice. Oh, uh, I can't decoy that one, though. Oh, oh well. Got a lot of Scorch cards there. Alright, let's Scorch one. Then we can Scorch another. Actually, do I need to Scorch another? All I need to do is get... Hmm... Uh, no, let's scorch again. I only need to have my weakest person. I don't have a weakest person. Although, I can play the spy card. And play another spy card. And then he's got five points. I can play Vesemir and win. Okay, um, might as well do this. Get Vesemir back. Ooh, he's going heavy on the strong cards now, I guess. Play some easy plays, easy plays. Ooh, Torrential Rain. Well, it's a good thing hero cards aren't affected by the weather. How many cards have got left? Six? Hmm, he does have quite a few cards left then. Alright, so he's got more than ten points in close combat now. Okay, can we scorch that? Yeah, let's scorch. Scorch him! Aha! Awesome. And that get rid of Vess. Oh no, oh yeah, Vess is weaker. Sweet. Works out quite well. You're covering a card. Ooh, that. Hmm, that might not be good. He's got four cards again. Okay, we're going to do this, and then eventually we will get rid of the weather. What's the strongest card in the field? Seven? Seven. So I've got another card. Ooh, okay. That's fine. Uh, let's play my leader card now. Well, that's actually not bad, because I'm still... Ooh, I can play... Aha! Let's get rid of this. Mm-hmm. Get a couple of extra cards. Yeah, let's get Geralt down. Ooh, if only I had another decoy. Don't really think he can beat me at this point. Um, I might be mistaken though. Like he'd need to double his strength. And I don't think he can. Nah. Cool. Woohoo! A seasoned player, I see. Congratulations. Thank you. As your prize. I shall reveal to you my foolproof method for cutting through this bureaucracy. <laughs> Nothing ever comes of using the normal channels. I have seen them try everything. Magic, hypnosis, bribery. Nothing worked. Wow. Magic People are desperate. If nothing works, there's nothing I can do. Be kind. Be pleasant. This and only this. The woman here, she sits at her window 12 hours each day without hearing so much as a good day from anyone. Well, I was going to do that anyway. I just wanted to do it normally, but fine. But Thanks for the tip. Up some flowers, some perfume. Well, 
You will resolve your matter lickety split. Right. Certainly worth a shot. Flowers and perfume, you say? Good luck. Alright, well, I can do that. Should be able to find flowers and perfume. Go and buy a present. Go and buy a present. Uh, these are doors? Yeah, those are doors. <laughs> I mean, depending on how much money I'm going to get from this Cianfinelli bank situation, me buying a present for the clerk might be more money than I than I get. Hello, merchant. Welcome back, master. Uh, what do you have on offer? Show me what you've got. In Show me what you got. Does it highlight the stuff? Yeah, cool. Right, so I've got four grand. Um, I'm going to buy all the flowers. Because I don't know if I need to use more of them or not. But better safe than sorry. Buy all the perfume as well. Is there anything else? Nope, nothing else is mentioned. So let's leave it at that. Oh, okay. Uh, I actually need to drop some stuff. Because I'm over encumbered. Now, the real question is, can I actually sell anything that weighs stuff for him? Uh, I guess I can sell these stuff. The necklaces and things won't weigh a lot, but it's worth getting rid of them now, I guess. Uh, Dimaterium shackles. No, I think I'll keep those for the time being. Get rid of the rings. Do, 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 do. Bum, 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 bum. Are these silver nuggets? Gold nuggets? Pure silver? Wow, they weigh three. Yeah, let's get rid of those. Three. Okay. And I will spend some time selling stuff for, with the merchants and so on uh, in Toussaint to for going. next time, I think. All right. Do -do 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 -do. So, uh, okay, thank you. Return to window one and talk to the clerk. Welcome to Champanelli Bank, where we look after your coin as if it were our own, etc., etc. How can I help you, sir? Need Form 202. Need Form 202 to get a copy of Permit A38. Do you know that? Couldn't have told me. Wasted a lot of time because of you. Please, sir. There's no need to lose your temper. I thought it obvious and thus needed no stating. The form will soon be ready. Name and surname? Geralt of Rivia. <laughs> Let me find it. Gedon, Gemmer. Here it is. Geralt of Rivia. So the record does exist. Sorry, sir, I cannot issue Form 202. Why? Excuse me. The applicant in question has been declared dead, officially. Now, do tell me, sir, how am I to enter that into the ledger? I don't know. Um, give flowers and give perfume. Got you some flowers, just to thank you for helping me with my file. Oh, but I, I shouldn't. To me, really. Yeah. Match the color of your eyes. Oh. She's got white eyes. You, sir, are quite the charmer. Ah, hmm. please, wait a moment. I shall fetch Master Cinfanelli. Perhaps he'll arrange something that excludes the paperwork. Sure. So, if the applicant for an account in the bank is dead, what happens to the money? Because we could go through this whole rigmarole and find out that it's actually already been withdrawn. And that would be no bueno. Well, you tell him that he disturbed, but no, always some bugger who can stand to wait. Blow me, who's this? Hearty greetings, Master Geralt. You haven't paid us a visit in eons. 
been a bit busy, but I'm back now and I need your help with something. Of course. Now do tell, how can I help you? I've got a problem with my account. Got a problem with my account. Wanted to withdraw some coins, see, but... No problem there, we'll get you paid up in a jiffy. I'm just gonna need to settle yon tiny wee trifle. Mm -hmm. Already. Permit A38, among others. Well, my hands are tied without them, Geralt. But I see you're a quick learner in the ways of banking. You'll get them in a heartbeat. All right. Uh, no more excuses. What happened to my coin? Chanfinelli, no more excuses. Pay out my coin now. Come on, Master Witcher, for why the IR? There's no need. We'll have it all <laughs> for you. We just need to see the necessary documents. Hey, I'm, I'm happy right to do that. Here means a hell of a lot more than any of your forms or permits. Have a look. Well, what? What's that? Her enlightened. Oh, the duchy. Okay. She's hired you. Mm -hmm. And as her personal emissary, I demand access to my account right now. Uh, uh, I, Master Witcher, this way. So why is that the thing that makes so him go? Oh yes, that's fine. Can't complain. Good for you, because in our neck of the woods, things are dark, dark shite. Wine sales are stuck in the muck and sinking deeper. It's the fucking wretched names, I tell you. Folk out with the duchy have they any notion how to say, yes. quote, de blessure, so? and all that. It what twists their tongues in bloody knots. Makes them ashamed to ask for it. So, they're not getting it because they can't buy it? Can't pronounce it? All right. Well. Do, 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 do. Retrieve my coin. Hmm. What the hell's this, Chenfinelli? Box is empty. Well, uh, coin's got to circulate. Yeah. When we learned you were dead, master, we uh circulated yours. Mm -hmm. Just stocks, bonds, invested in a few vineyards. Before we knew it, there was hee-haw left in the box. So Bring now you just give me the profits of everything you did. You robbed me, plain and simple. Nay, nee, Master Witcher, never. I wouldn't dare. Oh, you'd dare. And now you'll answer for it. Open the gate. Master Witcher, I'll pay it all back, every red copper. I swear it on my nana's beard. Uh, you've got a week. Got a week, not one day more. You're a banker. Shadrick you could probably just pay that out anyway. I'll rustle it up. Have it ready for you in seven days. Mm -hmm. See you then. I will literally wait outside the bank for seven days, meditating, just so you can have my money ready. Now I'm just thinking, actually, whether he's actually going to do this or whether he's actually going to do a runner. Because a week is a long time to do a runner. Alright, so that's what? One day? Slightly? This will be two and a bit once I get to midday-ish. Uh-huh. And then another day. Another day. Again, we'll go to kind of midday-ish. That's what, four days now? We're up to five. About six now. And this should be seven. And again, we'll go to the midday. Ah, uh, ten o'clock's fine, actually. All right, Chanfinelli. Hello, Chanfinelli. You got my money? What is it? Got your coin, sir. And a wee gift to thank you for the trust you showed. This blade's the Reckoner. It saved my arse a fair number of times. Ooh. Is it better than the sword I've already got? Thanks, Chanfinelli. 500? 
One last thing. That's not even a lot. I'd like to apologize for the whole minging kerfuffle. Five hundred crowns. God, I got more from exchanging. <sighs> All right. Well, um, let's go ahead and return to Corvo Bianco, and we'll see how much stuff has been renovated, and we can possibly invest a bit more coin into it. See how things move around. If it was a thousand for a grindstone and a thousand for an armor's table and five thousand to do up the house, I would expect the renovations to the rest of the ground and everything to be like in the tens of thousands. We'll see. So, uh, peasant. Does look like it's been spruced up a little bit. Uh, Major Domo. Major Domo. Hello. Hello, sir. Renovations coming along all right, Barnabas Basil? Superbly, sir. General refurbishment has been completed. And I took the liberty of adding two racks, each upon which you might hang weapons and armor, if you've some pieces you'd like to display. Likewise, I have prepared a few spots in which new paintings might be hung. In Uthen use, the laborers dusting out the cellar have made a most unusual discovery. I believe it's something you'll wish to see. Okay, I'll go there right now. If you say I should see it, I'll go see it right now, BB. Search the cellar. What could there possibly be in here that needs looking at right now? Something behind this wall, I think. Ooh. Laboratory. Must have been an alchemist at one time. Sweet. So, in the lab, you can transform mutagens taken from monsters into their basic versions. For example, you can turn a wraith mutagen into a lesser green mutagen. You can upgrade basic mutagens to the more powerful versions using the alchemy panel. If you find the right formula, you may also change the mutagens' colors. Sweet! So I can actually find and just have more red mutagens now. That's great. Because I'm not using these versions anyway. Uh, let's do four. Save at least one. Save one of you. Yeah, saving at least one of everything seems good to me. Oh, no, didn't mean to press that one, but never mind. <laughs> All those lesser green mutagens. Hang on, does this cost money? No, it doesn't. Okay, cool. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Alright, so almost done. Oh, okay, never mind. Alright, so we've got lots of mutagens to play around with now, then. So let's go to character. Oh, actually, I need to go to alchemy first, don't I? Yeah. Alchemy first. Blue mutagens! This game takes ages to load in the next thing. Like, you would expect converting a blue mutagen or a lesser blue mutagen into blue mutagen wouldn't take that long in terms of load times, but clearly there is something heavily resource intensive going on in the background here because otherwise I have no idea why it would even take this long. Uh, okay, all right, so then we got greater blue. We'll get two of those. Mm hmm. Come on. There we go. Now, I don't know how many ability points I've got uh, left to go for mutations, but I think I might have at least one. There's greater green. Uh huh. There we go. Uh, hang on. Why am I... There we go. Red mutagens. That's what I wanted. Come on. 
Come on. Let's get all the red mutagens in one place. <laughs> to be fair, I didn't pay attention to the conversion rates on the other mutagens I already had. So I might need to do some more of this with the ones I've already got left anyway. But like I said, that's fine. I'm not using the other mutagens for anything anyway. So, Alright, we've got one more. Come on. And I can't convert any of the greater mutagens into other stuff yet. I've got so many green mutagens, though. So many. Okay. Uh, that's good for now. Let's go to character. Ooh, actually. Uh, the sword I got. Is that better than what I've got now? The Reckoner! Steel sword? Yes, it's already better than Geralt of Rivia's sword. That's disappointing. But... It means I can put the Geralt of Rivia's sword onto the, the walls in Corvo Bianco, actually. Which is fine. So, let's carry on going to character. Alright, so... Mutations. Ah, five ability points? Damn. That's going to be five, and that'll probably be another five, won't it? Hmm... I mean, actually, can I unlock anything else here? So, number of research mutations necessary for next stage is eight. So, it's what? One, two, three, four, five, six. There's only six left, though. How am I supposed to get, like, rank three of synapses? If I can only unlock those. Ah, okay. Um... Mm hmm Yeah. Five ability points means taking off stuff from... Well, I don't know, actually. Like, I've got five points here, but that's increased my threshold for overdoses to 100%, which is quite handy when I'm using lots of swallows and stuff. Um, would I want to get rid of Axie? No, not really. I suppose the thing I would want to get rid of would be this stuff, right? Resolve, I don't necessarily need. Undying. That I do need, though. And then this one, Razor Focus. Yeah, I don't think I need Razor Focus and Resolve. But I do want to keep my combat stuff. And that would give me 10 points to work with, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah. Well, I think this is stuff I can probably think about for next time and, you know. Ooh, ooh hello. Julius Bangav. To whomever finds this letter, my name is Julius Bangav, and if you are reading these words, I am surely long dead. As befits one of my station of familiar connections, I was sent to study at Bannard, the famed school for mages, yet I was never to complete those studies. For the entire duration of my life, magic held but a weak hold over a soul ravished by a passion for organic alchemy. It was to that most wondrous of sciences I dedicated the most beautiful years of my life, and the table beside you now, which you now most surely stand, is the fruit of those labors of love. If you are a fellow lover of alchemy, I hazard to guess you'll be filled with rapture to behold my discovery. If, however, that marvellous science is unknown to you, please heed my advice. Drop this letter, step away from the table, and never return. The practice of alchemy by amateurs can lead to injury and even death. If you did not drop this letter after the last paragraph, you are no stranger to alchemy. Thus I shall now reveal to you in a few brief words the fundamentals of the alchemy table I designed. Leaving aside all, ne all unnecessary detail, my chief discovery consisted of a formula and tools allowing for the transmutation of mutagens taken from monsters into mutagens of the more common sort. I know this sounds highly unlikely, but I have proven with utmost certainty that this is possible. The workings of these transmutations are simple. One was simply make use of the table which I designed. As an expert in the arcane art of alchemy, you would certainly already know your way around such devices. If you are but an amateur, a member of the Hoi Poloi, who has by accident wandered to this abandoned place, back away, lest your ignorance do you grievous harm. You are surely asking yourself why I hid my discovery from the world, why I did not much share my formula with the community of alchemists. Well, let us say that I have forever been regarded as eccentric, aloof, and I have always believed it was pure chance and not men themselves that determined destiny. 
Furthermore, I've never sighed offspring and have no desire to entrust my opus to a mere acquaintance. I thus concluded the best solution was to hide my table and trust that chance will, if my theory is correct, bring a man here who shall know how to make use of it, whom it shall delight and to whom it shall prove great use. Whether I'm right or wrong, time will tell. Use my gift wisely and fare you well. Julius Bangav. Alchemist. Oh, and uh, what's this? Bombs and potions have gained an additional charge. Does that stack indefinitely or is it just once? Hmm. Well, that was very interesting to find in the, the cellar. Thank you, BB. And let's talk more renovations. BB, know anything about the laboratory in the cellar? One of the previous owners take an interest in alchemy? A laboratory? Alchemy? I know nothing of it. But I understand that to a witcher this must be a very intriguing find. It is. It was walled up. Equipment's pretty ancient too, so it must have belonged to someone who lived at Corvo Bianco before you started working here. Whoever it was sure knew their stuff though. Got dragon glass vials and flasks, stills, sublimators, vengerometers. Forgive me, sir, but I fear I don't follow. Just saying, it's top-notch equipment. True masterpieces of craftsmanship for use in alchemy. Brewing a concoction with this stuff versus doing it over an open fire? Well, there's no comparison. Then I am all the more delighted you discovered it, sir. Hmm. Cool. All right. I think we could do some renovating. I'm starting to really like this place. Maybe we should keep going. Refurbish some more. What do you think, BB? As you wish, sir. Shall we see to the house or the grounds this time? Uh, let's do some work on the house. Feels like by investing a bit of coin, I could make the house more functional. Indeed, momentum is best maintained once established. Now that we've finished the general renovations, you might begin to consider such things as a new bed or additional armor stands or weapon racks. Also, some new furnishings and a fresh coat of paint on the walls would do much to improve the guest quarters. Okay. Uh, could use a better bed. Another weapon rack. I don't need another weapon rack just yet, so let's use a better bed. Thinking about buying a comfortable bed. Always wanted one. Excellent idea. In your profession, rest is supremely important. But say the word, and I shall order you a bed from the carpenters who craft comfort for the court. A thousand bonus to vitality. Great. Order me a fine bed, please. Think I deserve one at my age. True indeed, true indeed. I shall send a runner at once. The bet will be in place by this time tomorrow. Oh, that was only a thousand. That's cool. Is there anything, anything else you require, sir? Uh, let's see to the guest room. Was wondering about the guest room. Not that I'm expecting company, but oh, but that is immaterial. All self-respecting homes should boast a comfortable guest room. What if someone were to drop by unannounced? Yeah. Yeah. The sooner we start on that, the better. I can tell a man of action immediately. I'll see to it myself. The room shall be ready in two days, in my opinion. Okay. Is there anything anything else you require, sir? Well, might as well go for the weapon rack and the armor stands. Could use another weapon rack. Got some interesting pieces I'd like to display. I know of a carpentry shop in town which crafts the humblest lumber into true masterpieces. You need but give the word. Five hundred. Fine. Order the racks. Of course, at once. At most one day for them to arrive is my estimation. And then last but not least is the armor stands. Along the path, I've often picked up well-crafted, beautifully ornamented armor. Some of those pieces would look great on display here. I agree. It would lend the place a certain witch's air. Shall I order new stands at once, sir? Yeah. Yes. Just please make sure they're solidly made and nicely finished. It goes without saying, sir. There is nothing worse than splendid armor upon a subpar stand. Okay, so we spent three grand. They shall be ready to display your finest finds. So we should have two grand left, right? Is there so, what can we spend on the ground? Starting to get into this whole renovating thing. There must be other things we can improve. What a splendidly wise idea. Now that the general refurbishment is done, why not see to the grounds? Perhaps renovate the stables? Or return Madame Bolius's garden to its former verdancy? 
Uh, yeah, Roach deserves a room your stable. You know, Roach, my horse? Well, we've been through a lot together. And since I finally got a decent place to stay, I think she deserves one too. Oh, a sturdy stable testifies to a most honorable owner. Just say the word, and I'll have them start working on it at once. 2000? Yeah. My Roach deserves the best. Have them refurbish the stables. I shall get to work at once. But finding workmen and completing construction takes time, though likely no more than two days. Will you be needing anything else, sir? I just want to see how much the herbs in the garden will cost. So, sometimes I have to brew a potion, but I can't find the herbs I need growing anywhere nearby. Well, you're in luck, sir. The flower garden, once kept by Madame Nina, Monsieur Bolius's wife, seems the ideal place to cultivate herbs. In fact, it's roomy enough to plant shrubbery. 2000. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Now what? Ponder the notion, Haref. Okay. So long. Let's put a pin in this for now. Not the slightest problem, sir. I'm here. So I can wait and see stuff change around. Uh, we have the master bedroom. I want to see what sleeping in the master bedroom is like. It gives a bonus to vitality. Oh, I'm waiting for it to be replaced. Ha! <laughs> Never mind. Hey, okay. never mind. So, do the same thing as before. We'll meditate. That's. Does this count as one day, or is it? T does it need to be a full twenty-four hours? Never, never in really been clear on that. Uh, we'll do three days just to be sure. And then to midday. There we go. Yesterday, partners today, and tomorrow, love hurts tomorrow. Yep, that does look fancy. <laughs> Rest here to gain bonuses. Bed level is royal. Maximum vitality increases by a thousand points. Wow, that's pretty good. Uh, 60 minutes is a 5% bonus to experience gain during combat. Alchemy Laboratory gives an additional charge, and the stables gives extra 100% stamina to Roach. Nice. That's pretty good. I didn't realize we could renovate the library. So the vitality bonus has been applied. Uh, oh, you can place trophies. No? Why, why can't I place trophies? Ooh. Nice. Actually being able to hang paintings that you've collected during... Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. Now it feels like a home. Iron Knight of the Ponta. That's pretty cool. Alright. Uh, where should I put, like, my main sword and shield? Main armor set. Ooh, ornate robe? Yeah. Because that's from, um, thingy. The Hearts of Stone DLC. That's for the shirt. We've got weapon racks. What's over here? What's this way? I'm gathering ingredients. And fiber, thank you. I uh, don't have any more paintings. And now I'm thinking like, oh, I could just go on a shopping spree. Uh, I guess we'll put my weapon here. Uh, which is this one. Geralt of Rivia. And then that one is the uh, Ophiary Killing. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright, awesome. So, um, what do we have to do next? You know what? Um, I probably need to spend some time dumping more stuff and getting more money so that we can do things like uh, the Gwent tournament, Fist of Fury, there's the auction stuff as well. So I think I might actually call the stream here. Um, next time we can do stuff like this, 
that can only oh that's uh yeah that's just doing it for a yeah, okay so we can do stuff like the knight for hire the gwent tournament the fist tournament stuff like that um and then move on to maybe the witcher contract as well uh, i don't think i've got any treasure hunt stuff oh i do actually aha so this will be stuff I can find off stream, actually, because it'll be just, you know, find hidden treasure and that'll be it. And these are monsters, so we'll do that on stream if it's uh, fun. And then, yeah, we'll do main quest another time. So, yep, uh, I'm getting pretty hungry, so I'm going to go and get myself some lunch. So I'm going to stop and make a save here. So thanks for watching the stream, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can follow us at twitch.tv slash to, uh, to watch us live in case you're watching us on the catch up. You can also subscribe to us because we are Twitch affiliates. Uh, when we reach 50 sub points, we'll be adding face cams to our streams. And when you uh, when you subscribe to our streams, you get exclusive emotes you can use on our channel. I think you can use it on other channels as well, actually. Uh, if you're using Twitch Prime, you don't get any adverts on our streams, which I know can be a bit annoying every now and then. Uh, and yeah, you help support us to carry on doing what we want to do. Um, we make sure that our streams get uploaded to YouTube afterwards at Riggy Rob Pimsy Play. So the link to that is in the chat now. But if you go to YouTube and just search Riggy Rob and Pimsy. In fact, if you just search Google for Riggy Rob, you should find all the stuff we have. Whether that's Twitch or YouTube or Twitter or whatever. And Discord and Twitter will let you know when we go live. So today I had to start a little bit later because, my god, the cats were so annoying. They would just not leave me alone. Uh, and like I said, I think I had to just, like, I had to carry Coda like a baby and take him to his litter tray. And it's like, you're you're a fully grown cat. You know how to do this. You could have done that yourself, but oh well. Uh, we have a schedule panel underneath our stream from Stream Elements that has a countdown to our next stream. So we go live Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. 8 p.m. UK time on the weekdays, 10 a.m. UK time on Sunday. And me and Pimsy had a lot of fun doing Luigi's Mansion 3 in co-op. So I'm pretty sure that's what we'll be doing uh, next time. So that's 8 p.m. UK time for Luigi's Mansion 3 co-op. And yeah, that's about wraps it up. So thanks for watching the stream, guys. And I'll see you all next time.